All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be my first look at the new Tekken Gen 2 motors. These are the Redline brushless censored motors, 540 sized can. Uh, I am putting this thing in my team associated B44.2 tenth scale four wheel drive buggy. Now, let's take a look at some of the packaging, what you get inside, and we'll go from there. So it looks like Tekken has went with a white theme on a lot of their new Gen 2 products. You'll see this um, common in both this motor, also the RS that's been released, the RS ESC, and also the new RX-8 has the white case on it. So all in all, it looks like the packaging is very nice. Um, has the nice little race legal logo right there. My camera can focus in on that. And once again, this is a brushless censored motor, so it does need to have a sensor wire going up to the ESC. So your ESC does have to be a compatible ESC. Bottom right here is just some more of their logos, nice graphics. Has the red line features right here. Hopefully you guys can read that. Lots more information available at teamteakin.com. And what size motor did I pick, or what turn motor? Let's see which one I picked. And it's the 7.5 turn motor. This is a very, very fast motor. You'll notice some repetition on some of the numbers there, 25.5 turn, and it repeats there. Uh, they have a different version this time where it says RPM. Not sure of exactly what that means. I'm somewhat new to some of the 10 scale motors, so please bear with me and learn with me as I go. You can get these motors all the way down to a 2.5 turn. Good God, that's fast. Other side, add just some more of the specs and the sizing and whatnot. This is once again the 7.5 turn. And it is a 540 sized motor. So let's take a look what inside what you get. As I crack this thing open, and it comes in this kind of like hermetically sealed vaulted foam kind of safe right here. We're going to have to kind of pluck this thing out like, I don't know what you'd call this, but, and this thing has some weight to it. Let's take some close-ups here. Very nice red graphics or red case on it. it has all the white graphics like we talked about. Gen 2 Tekken 7.5 turn. The nice uh, kind of front bell is what I call it. All that CNC aluminum up there looks very, very nice. Has all the cutouts there to uh, probably dissipate the heat a little bit from the motor. Being that it's a censored motor, these things definitely run cooler than a sensor less motor. It kind of looks like my soldering points are just slightly crooked. We'll have to take a look at that has these nice little perforations on either side right here to uh, once again let the heat escape from the motor on either side all in all very nice has some good weight to it on the end bell let's take a look at that has the A, B, and C and those are just your soldering points has the um, lead for the sensor wire and also this little kind of pre-installed little loop right here and this is for once again the sensor wire so it doesn't get in the way I believe you can move this to different points on the motor bottom right here the little 0, 20, and 40 I believe is for adjusting your timing on the actual motor I believe you can also do that on the ESC from Tekken as well so all in all very nice motor I can't wait to get this thing installed in my B44.2 and get on the track for you guys. So uh, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys, if you have any questions, please leave it on down below. And as always, hit that like button and subscribe. Oops, forgot one thing. Hopefully you guys didn't tune out already because you'll miss this part. Inside the box, they usually include a sensor wire. So let's see if we got that. And there it is. This is just the standard Tekken six inch sensor wire so hopefully that will fit your application uh, looks like it has a standard six plug sensor and about six inches in length has this kind of heat shield on it right here to protect it from fraying and whatnot so 
that'll be going on the buggy as well. Okay, that's it for now, guys. Final time. Any questions, throw it down below. And as always, like and subscribe. Over now.